Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a sample login using C Sharp with MS Access 2003 as database. Okay, first thing we need to do is we're going to paste our database into our bin file of the solution. Okay, to do that, go to your My Computer, go to My Documents, Choose what version of Visual Studio you're working on. I'm working on Visual Studio 2010, so I'm going to choose Visual Studio 2010. Go to Projects. Go to the Solution. My solution here is Sample Login C Sharp. Sample Login C Sharp. Click again. Go to Bin and paste your database here. Okay. After that, let's go back now to our project. Oh, by the way, my database here is like this before uh, we, can, we go to the project I have a user table here I have uh, two fields up here I have ID and password and uh, two records here okay let's go back now let's design first our form for a bit let's drag some two text box change the name of the first text box into ID password drag a two text box and a button and okay we have a simple design now okay now double click on the button oops let's show that for a bit let's declare first our import here type here using System that data got poly db. After that, let's take care of our global variable for poly db connection. Let's type here poly db connection con as variable name new poly db connection. We declare it as global because we're going to every part of the class form one can access the code. If we declare it inside only the private button underscore click one, only the part in this code private void button one underscore click can access it. Okay, after that let's declare a method to check the inputs. Let's type here public bool check. Okay. My default return will be false. <coughs> okay, and after that, let's specify our connection string. Okay, type here con dot connection string, then quotation, then provider goes to Microsoft dot get dot polydb dot four point zero, and then data source is equal to dot dot sample that mdb okay as the provider microsoft.jet.oldb.4.0 in data source is where our database is located as you see a while ago i asked you to place your database in the solution file in the bin folder and a shortcut data source here will be that that meaning you're going to automatically detect the system system that the database is located in the bin file and the sample.mdb is the name of the database okay and after that open the connection and then let's declare for some necessary variables here we got table ed as Okay, and after that, let's, let's declare first now our Oli DB data adapter. The A equals to Oli DB data adapter. And I have a select query here. Select asterisk from user table.
my select query here is select asterisk from user table meaning I'm going to select all the records here in my user table and then after we de specify our AllyDB data adapter we're going to fill our data table now okay and after that guys we're going to use some for each here type here just copy my code for a bit for each data row r as variable name in pt okay and then we're going to create an if condition here if meaning if r the first row Okay, here is the logic in this each condition guys. In the for each, we're going to check every row of our data table and then ask if row 0, row 0, column 0, that text equals to our text box. And this is our text box here. And then n, row 0, column 1, that to text is equal to text box to the text meaning we're going to check if our user inputs is equal to our records in our database here okay guys and then let's go back to the code and then if it's equal we're going to return true and then okay after that if the record is not the same and then it, it will automatically return false meaning the user have not input a correct value okay let's go back now to the private void button one underscore click okay here let's call the method check check oops sorry we're going to create if condition here here by the way if check equals to true and then message box that show login else Valid. Okay, guys. Let's now test our program if it's working. Just click on the start debugging button here, or press your F5 button. Okay, let's test it. We're going to check. I have a ID here done and a password one two three four. Then two. I'm going to choose this one. One, two, three, four. Now you can see, guys, it's login. Okay. And also, by the way, guys, since we open our connection here, it must, it would be better if we if close our connection. Just uh, to prevent some errors. Okay. Thanks again for watching guys. If you like my video, just kindly subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.